Hi guys, today I'll be showing you how to model this wheel rim in 3ds Max. Alright, so first I will be setting up the reference image to model it. So I'll be creating a plane, give it equal amount of sides. And now I will uh, import the image. So here I go to diffuse, select bitmap, locate the image and just click OK and then apply the image so now I will go to object properties I center it go to object properties uh, then just show deselect show frozen in gray and now I can't select the image so I basically froze it so I can't edit it anymore now I create a cylinder I give it 16 sides why the reason I give 16 sides is because there are eight uh, spokes as you can see and just give me 8 2s are 16 for just a bit more control and I just adjust the uh, radius and everything to the desired you I change the opacity to make it a bit transparent so I can see the reference image behind it all right so right now I will uh, make this uh, segments go in the diagonal shape like how the spokes are they are in a diagonal no direction and uh, to achieve that and now since there are eight spokes I will just model one and then just repeat the others around so here this part is a bit up in the image as you can see and uh, to achieve this spoke which has this kind of smooth curve I'll give a bit more segments in this area here and so basically we can get a bit more control so that's what I'm trying to aim for over here and as you can see the spoke has a bit of thickness so we'll just jam for this segment and uh, I don't really require that uh, vertice over there so I'll just target target weld it and I'll just scale these two inward a bit and here I will just adjust these segments according to the image so I'll just fast forward this part you add another segment over here just to gain a bit of control and now just delete these extra faces I don't really require them okay so right now to get this black inward part I just border select the the inside area I just scale it inward and now I just adjust it so I just adjust it according to my desired and here I make it flat on the Z axis as it looks like they all are in one line and here I give a bit more segments or give one segment over here to get, get, get a bit of control now I will uh, create this type of hole where the, where the bolts go in and I'll just cut it so I'll just make equal amount of cuts and just remove that face over there just make it one complete face uh, remove these segments yeah I get one face and now I just target well these areas and just position all of these a bit so here I cut because I'm going to clone it later so then it needs to cut as you can see on the left hand side there are four but on the right hand side there are three so just to make it even during the cloning part afterwards I give four on each side so when they join together then there is no uneven for number of segments now I get a bit of control now I make a cylinder for that bolt just to get the shape of that so I just position it where it is required and also note I had given it 17 sides the reason I gave 17 sides is because the 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 surface over there it has 17 vortices so basically now when I position all these vortices I'm pos po positioning them all on top of the cylinders vort uh, vortice points so yeah, I can properly get a proper cylinder shape and I'll just pu push it down and put it on one z-axis level here I just insert and extrude to get the bolt And now here I just raise these points up as, uh, as I see in the image 
accordingly and then just adjust these points a bit so right now i'm not based on uh, concerned about the accuracy part of when they connect and how they will behave i'm just focusing on the control of the of the spoke and just properly modeling it i will look into the accuracy part later on when i clone them so i give a bit of segments because they are a bit sharp on the edges they are not very co they don't um, curve a, a lot yeah just add a bit more just to get that cylindrical shape that i see on the reference image so add a bit more segments and just position them properly so yeah i just connect these certain amount of segments i don't want it going all the way around just where it is required and that should be good enough and i'll just cut this so i get a triangle shape but that's all right there's not a few triangles that's no problem as such and now also in the reference image i can i feel that the spoke turns in a in a rotation and it rotates a bit so basically i just want to create a bit of that rotation a smooth rotation that's going and i just connect these segments over here so basically now they have a edge control as well and you are also if you notice i select both the outsides and adjust them is because also when they clone they will be in the same they should be in the same line so they can weld properly so that's why i put them i uh, increase the height together and not individually here also i just add some few more segments to gain that edge control that is required and i just change the pivot to center it so that i can rotate around the midpoint so basically right now i will just scale it up a bit so just get it a bit more bigger because i will have to weld and welding goes by mm for me so i don't want any problems so right now here there are eight sides and i uh change the settings of the angle snapping to 45 because 360 uh, degrees divided by 8 is 45 degrees and now as you can see here i'm positioning these uh parts very close to each other as you seen over there so when i weld them together now i'm just attaching attaching all of these now when i weld them together i'll select all of these points first <clears throat> so first i will select all those points which were the ones that should be welded so i just select all of them and right now i'll just weld them together so basically also note that all these the edge control uh, segments that you put they are quite close to each other so make sure the weld doesn't uh, you know make those weld together as well otherwise there will be a problem and it will look a bit more weird once you smooth it out <coughs> and create some deformations so right now i'm just checking it another way also to check it is by using border select so right now i have a lot i have a lot of borders so right now i'll just select this border and now you can see there's this one line going through the middle so meaning those uh, segments of those vertices over there they didn't weld properly so i'll just re-weld them and you i'll just check if all these borders are proper and they look good so right now your that inside point i just adjust it to make it look cylindrical so i just adjust it and that looks mm, decent enough so now i intrude it and insert sorry and just extrude there i cap and another insert and here i ring to get a bit more of that kind of uh, bevel look so i just put this uh, loop segment down and pull it down a bit 
so then it looks a bit more good like how it looks in the reference image and here you have it the car wheel rim thank you for watching and have a nice day